Alright, my turn. My turn. in the morning and once again we are up this has just been a really crazy rough week um, being away in Pittsburgh really threw Abby off and she used to go down for bed really easily sleep all night it took her a long time to sleep through the night she was 13 months but once she started sleeping through the night like she was golden and uh, I was thankful for that and traveling I think it just really threw her off so she cried in the beginning of the night it was a little rough to get her to go to bed but um, Caleb woke up and he had wet the bed and crying hysterically again and just I don't know this is the fourth time that he has cried hysterically couldn't calm himself down and then thrown up and then Dave put him in the bathtub because we had to change his sheets and change his clothes and I think being two in the morning he was just he's tired he's groggy we're tired um, so just the crying from all that didn't help the situation so he is settled back in bed and sleeping I'm really hoping he sleeps the rest of the night the poor kid has been up through the night like every night this week and he is very used to sleeping all night. Um, I'm hoping that Abby doesn't get up, thankfully, even though Caleb was crying uncontrollably and very loud, she did not wake up, so I'm thankful for that. Um, so I'm just hoping that the rest of the night goes better, it's a little bit more smooth, and we can get some sleep because we are all very, very tired. It's just me and Abby this morning. Dave and Caleb went to help. Cheryl move all the rest of her furniture out of the apartment. And they're going to get breakfast on the way. And then I think Dave was maybe going to go down to a mall and look for some jeans. So I'm not sure what time they're going to be home. They might grab lunch out too. So it's just me and this girl. Cal was sad that I wasn't going with him this morning, so I told him when he gets home that we would do something together. But he's going to go see Pop up and Mamam, and it's Pop ups birthday, so I told him to wish Pop up a happy birthday. And I think he'll forget all about me and have fun once he's there. What? Well... Pull them out. <laughs> Abby likes to dump the toys, but then her need for things to be clean and tidy kicks in and she immediately cleans them up. <laughs> Abby, do you want to play with the blocks? Yeah. You want to put the lid on the blocks, huh? So we went to the library and now we're going to the park. I'm going to let her play for a little bit and then we'll head back home for lunch and nap. Yay! Go ahead! Yay! Good job, Abby! Good job! <laughs> We're at King's at Pumpkin Patch. We have come the last couple of years. This is an Amish run farm. They're open on Monday through Saturday. 
That's okay. You pet him. He is a friendly dog. We've seen him before. But it's really cool. They have pumpkins. You can buy them or pick them. Yeah. They have all sorts of animals to feed and pet. <laughs> yeah. You like your binoculars? Abby, go ahead. You can pet the dog. Go ahead and pet her. You see really far, huh, buddy? Can you lean down and pet the dog to show Abby that it's okay? <laughs> Look, Abby. There you go. <laughs> She's like not sure, and this is like the friendliest dog. Can you give the dog a hug? Aw, nice. <laughs> Kale, what animal do you really want to feed? The ducks? He really wants to feed the ducks. Yeah, honey. You're giving the dog a hug. That's nice. Good job, Caleb. You figuring out how it works? Very good, bud. Oh, Daddy wants to do it too. <laughs> Caleb, are you spreading out? You know how to do this. What are you doing? Should I bury you in corn? <laughs> I thought so. Maybe right, not Abby, gonna too much. Him? He's going to have corn everywhere. Abby, and his underwear and his shoes. You going to help me bury Caleb in corn? <laughs> Abby, you're not helping. You lay down too. 
Abby, you lay No, not on Caleb. Come over here, Abby. Lay here. Come lay over here. I can barely see you anymore. You're so buried. Poor Abby. She's gonna have it in her diaper. <laughs> hey, Kale. No, no. Hey, only I do it. Okay. Ready? Hey, Kale. Sit down. Sit right here. Can you do it? Supergirl's trying to figure out how to get out. There you go, baby. And the boys are flying the drone and playing with the frisbee. Whoa! Here you go, Abby. Come on, Supergirl. Boink! Okay. You gonna go see Daddy in the drone? No. We're not playing on the playground. You're bathed and clean. It's bad enough that I didn't put shoes on you. Go toward daddy. Go see daddy. He's flying the helicopter. Go see daddy. You wanna bring the wagon? Okay. Here, look. Hold the handle. Hey dude, are you having fun? Oh, you missed. Whoa! That was a good throw. Well, I can certainly try. There's the drone! Yeah, I see it! I love ending our nights like this, and fall is my favorite season, and it's just so nice out right now, but I know the days of being able to do this before bed are numbered before it gets too cold, so I'm soaking it in. You spend all that time trying to get out. <laughs> Are you trying to fly? Are you trying to fly, Supergirl? Say goodnight. Bye-bye. Yeah.